Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday the 9th, the 9th of March, I think. I think that's right. Yes, it's definitely Wednesday. <laughs> you think with um, doing daily blogs that <laughs> I would get used to what the date is. Yes. So first of all, I'd like to apologise if I sound a bit um, nasally, snotty. Yeah, so sorry. I think I might be coming down with a cold uh, or something. I feel all achy. I don't quite know what all that is about. So, yeah, so we're in the little snug in the garden room. Um, so I've just edited yesterday's blog. Um, I'd like to make two apologies. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Before I've even started. So two apologies. One apology is that I've got a little bit emotional <laughs> about um, what's going on in Ukraine. It wasn't, I don't think it was too bad. Uh, as I, I've told you many times, I just imagine you've popped around to my house, we're having a cup of tea and it's what you would say to friends, wasn't, wasn't, isn't it? You would, yeah, if something's upsetting you, um, and sometimes you just share that, don't you? Um, I think it was quite raw. I was also pressed for time as well yesterday because I had to go and get the boys and I was aware that I hadn't spoken to you. So yeah, so I hope, sincerely hope that I didn't upset anybody yesterday. It is literally a snippet. So. I'm drinking out my Valentine's cup. It was a Tesco special. And then my second apology is for when you watched yesterday's vlog, um, I finished it by the boys and I were doing our journaling, or they were doing the journaling, I was in charge of, no I wasn't in charge, they were in charge, I was just doing as I was told. They were, um, I had some photo, um, photographs um, printed off and I wanted to put them in to capture, you know, memories of us to be able to look back and to talk about them, so we were busy doing that, but unaware... <laughs> Me. Fred was in his underpants at the table. I'm not bothered. Obviously, that's not acceptable to be on national TV. So, just in case you think, oh, this is a bit disjointed, um, I just took all the sound out. I just put some music over it. But hopefully, it's okay. It gives you a flavour of what we were doing. Yeah, they're always in some kind of undress here. It's like, just, yeah, be as you are. So, I have my Whitmore on today, my cosy Whitmore, and I have my zigzag scarf and I knitted this 2020 I think and I do actually wear it quite a bit. It's two balls of boho Starcraft and you just, I think it's a four row pattern repeat and you just alternate the colours and it comes out like this and it's just lovely and it actually goes with quite a few bits, bits and pieces. So yes, so I've been out this morning, um, out with my youngest daughter, and I'm just having a look. We were trying to remember, she came over the other Sunday and we um, were talking about when I took her to the quilt show um, at Birmingham, NEC, and it must have been before she had Freddie, so it must have been 2016. I found something in my drawer, as we all do. You find something in your drawer and you're like, oh, and it's like magic. It's like, this is amazing. Why did I not finish this? Oh, and it, you just sort of spurred on. Um, yeah, so you come over a couple of Sundays ago and I taught her how to um, turn up some school trousers. So she's made up that she's been able to do this. She's time poor, like, you know, most um, parents are of children that age. So this is what she made and it's a, a nine patch block. So she made this. Let's see. So it just needs some sashing, some borders on there. And we have, I'm pretty sure that I've got a yard of this, or a metre of this, and a metre of this, and a metre of this. So we just needed to frame it. Um, so she picked out a colour and this is what she's picked out. So we went to a really lovely fabric shop 
um, in Southport. That's what she, that's what she chose. The guy that's there, Bob, is absolutely brilliant. You say to him, oh, what do you reckon go with this? And he scuttles away. It's like um, a lantern's going. There's like loads of fabric. And then he'll just come back. So he's got a couple of things out and then he'll come back for that. So, yeah. So he's pulled that out, which she really likes. So the next stage is to make sure it's all trim, trimmed up. I think, we nearly, I think we did trim it up before we put it away. So we'll see her again next week. We'll start with that. And then she's made all that herself. I sort of showed her how to do it and then she's done the rest. Um, so get that round and then we'll have a look at doing some um, more patchwork blocks and pull that together. So that was really nice, really nice, even though I felt a bit ropey. She went and dosed me up with paracetamol. So that's that. So yeah, that's a nice little project for us to be working on. And I have a secret, I have a secret. We've been very good at keeping, um, but now I'm able to, it isn't my secret, or is it my secret? Hmm. I don't know, <laughs> but I've not been able to say anything. But now we've been, or oh, my daughter's been given all the clear, all clear. I can say something. We're having another baby. I'm not having a baby. <laughs> that wouldn't be a secret. That'd be a miracle. That'd be like a disaster. <laughs> it's not having the boys. Um, so yes, my youngest daughter is expecting a baby, a third baby. So I've been very good and I kept it quiet, and just for various reasons, that's not my story to tell. Um, yeah, but she's giving them the all clear now, so she, she's fine. Um, so yes, we have a baby joining our family in May. So blimey, they're coming thick and fast now. So that's number five, number five. So yes, so we've got that to um, look forward to. Oh, I hear you say, what's it going to be? Well, would you believe, is that a clue? Is that a clue, Emma? <laughs> We went dress shopping. <laughs> oh well, I thought, it was, yeah, she's got frilly knickers underneath. Look. <laughs> Yay! We got a girl. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Isn't this pretty? Let me just, yeah. <laughs> so I took her out and, uh, yeah, we bought. Oh, it's got a little headband on there. Look at that. And it's so weird looking at pink. But pink. I'm not really bothered. I really wasn't bothered whether it was girl or boy, as long as it was healthy. But yeah, it's just nice to have a little bit of indulgence. <laughs> it's just so, so lovely. So yeah, the boys are really excited that they're going to be big brothers. <laughs> Got a pair of socks. So these are my acquisitions. <laughs> I said, I have what you want. Can we have a look? Uh... Look at that. How cute is that? And I am going to be knitting um, for the baby. And then I bought her this. And you're either going to love it or hate it. She doesn't know she's got this. I just slipped it in the bag. <laughs> How ridiculous <laughs> is this? So, yes. Um, because when my daughter was younger, I always used to put her in hats. I thought it really suited her. And she was like, when she was expecting Alfie, she's like, not going to do that. Don't buy me a hat. He's not wearing a hat. Of course. Did I listen to her? No, no, I didn't. So I went and bought a hat and uh, with the biggest pom pom, she put it on him. She goes, Oh, I love it. So you need to wear lots of hats. So we went in today and this is what we went in to buy. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this loveliness. So, yes. So, that's my acquisitions today. I'm going to have to put these all back in the bag nicely. And what else? What else have we got? I thought I brought my. Yes. So I've been working this week. I have actually picked it up now that everything is okay. We are so that I can work on something. So even though I said I wasn't going to make one for a while, I picked this up, and it is a corner to corner blanket. <laughs> um, but it is in my stash. It is in my stash. So it's just a little one for our, so to go over the car seat. Yeah, go over the car seat, go in the Moses basket. And there is a story behind this. I bought this for Freddie and it's um, 
a King Cole Comfort. I'd seen it on a market, like a hooded, hooded jacket, um, but teamed with, can you see the blue? Yeah, the blue, the denim blue. Teamed with denim blue, like button bands and everything. I showed it to my daughter and she liked it. <laughs> like she didn't think that it would be suitable for Freddie, just the wrong colours. So I got it out and I showed her this morning and she absolutely loves it. So that's nice that it was supposed to be for Fred, but it's going to the, the new baby. So yes, yes. And then, do you want to see, well, I did nickname it last week, my um, hamster, hamster um, blanket. But I call, I have a, um, a little pet name for each of the boys. So Benjamin's my little bunny. This is how far I've got since last week. Just scrunched it all up because we'll work on it with my editing. So, yes, I do think probably it'd be a good blanket for a little bunny. I've shown him on the phone, um, yeah, on FaceTime this morning, which he thought was quite funny. So, yes, with the current sort of <laughs> state of mind, this is um, just the perfect little projects that I need. So, yeah, I'll come on, say hi to you. And um, I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'll finish that round. <laughs> finish that round. And then I'm going to sit down quietly and see if I can um, finish, or well, start rather, start my Emily, Emmeline Pankhurst um, doll. And if I am successful, I'll come back and show you. So today might be just a very short video. Um, and hopefully good night's sleep and I'll be back to normal. Um, so, so on that note, I'm going to leave you. If you don't see me, then I haven't come back because I don't feel very well. <laughs> right, hopefully I'll see you later.